Wednesday. Wesley, what time is it? It's after nine. What is After 9? After 9 is going to be an evening show where Wesley and myself get to talk about all things in the world, whether it's culture or whether it's North Greenville University. So we're going to talk about all things NGU. NGU Reviews is going to be something we do. We're going to go to cultural events, chapel, the CAF, uh, sporting events, check out all those things. We're going to tell you stories from our time here. We're seniors and we have a lot of experience. We'll tell you about how to hide a pet. <laughs> How to go sledding safely when it's yeah. when it's snowing up here. Safely. Keywords. Safely. Because we know how not to, but we're going to try to tell you how to. And uh, we're going to just tell you how to survive here. And one of the keys to survival is doing your laundry. So I have a story. This evening, this evening I was planning on doing my laundry. And obviously, like any college student, you don't do your laundry until you absolutely have to. Um, learn that from uh, Learn that from my friend here, Wesley Kennedy. So, did it last second. I head to the laundry room, which is, there's a specific laundry room on campus that is, is for Crusader Court only, where, where we live. And I decided to take my laundry there, drove there, piled all of my, my mountains of laundry in the car. I get there, and I'm about to walk inside, and it's like, all of a sudden, it's, it's dark, it's creepy outside, and I'm about to lose it because there are bugs crawling out of this place. I won't go there. I do not do laundry here, as a rule. And, well, see, here's, here's the thing, though. It's tough because laundry is free. When Normally, at most campuses, you have to pay for laundry. 25 cents, 30 cents. Yeah, my sister yeah. has to pay a buck fifty to do laundry. Are you kidding me? No, that's serious. Okay, so maybe, that I, maybe I can't complain too much. But laundry here is free. And maybe that kind of tells what the laundry room is going to look like. Anyways, I go yeah. inside, and um, laundry room is absolutely... It's like a murder scene. It's like a murder scene. In fact, I... Put a Snapchat story on there. You can find me on Snapchat at the Drew underscore Norris to go check it out if you'd like to. Probably be gone by this time, but oh well. Anyways, I walk inside and all the washers and dryers are, of course, full. Um, everyone's been using them and no one comes to get their laundry. And it, what do these people expect? They they leave oh, from man. home. They leave from home and they expect people to come do their laundry like their parents do. They're, yeah, that's right. Their mom's been doing their laundry for their whole lives, and they just don't know how to behave like normal humans. It's it's absurd because then I go inside and all the laundry stuff's taken. All the dryers are like they're done. All their, there's clean there's clean clothes right. They're completely dried, but no one has come to get them, and so I have to take out the dry clothes and put them up. I have to move the washed clothes into the dryer to. And it just, I feel like a mother. I feel like a maid. So I, I go and I, I officially, I put on my, my laundry and after this 20 minute process, and I'm just taking a look around, right? And as I'm looking around, I see, I see bugs crawling on the floor. I see like bugs going in and out. I'm like, this, this can't be sanitary. Then, like as I'm looking around, I look up on the ceiling. And as soon as I look up on the ceiling, there is a, a, a slew of detergent. Like it, there, there is a line of detergent and it ends in a splatter. It legitimately looked like somebody got murdered. Like someone took a knife, stabbed somebody, and rung but, it up that but, way. Because somebody who was holding, oh, it was red. The detergent's red. Oh, that's the detergent's red. So he goes up, <laughs> and it's like somebody has died in here. Yeah, this, this is a murder scene. So and then he, they poured detergent on it to clean it, so no one knows. That's why they did it in the laundry room. That's brilliant. So here's 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 the here's the problem. Here's here's the problem. Do I say something about it? Because laundry is free. Mm -hmm. Or do I go and complain about it and say, hey, somebody needs to clean this up because I don't want to clean that up. It's it's disgusting, right? I got a little bit of detergent in my hands and I thought I was going to die. I was like, oh, I, don't, I don't know what this is. Is it detergent? Blood? I, I don't know. I don't know. So that's, that's just tonight. That is just tonight. And in fact, I'm waiting right now. I put my clothes in the dryer after a two-hour wait. And after this, after the first time, I go back to get them out, and they're still wet. And it's because I think somebody opened the door. Yeah. Like, like I go back, and, I, and I'm looking at it, and I think the door was... A was, jar. Yeah. Like, that's a really fancy word. It's a jar. So the door is a jar. Open. And all my clothes are still wet. So I started again, right? And cycles are like 60 minutes or so. And so I started again. After 60 minutes hanging out in the room, chilling, just kind of waiting for the clock to tick down. I go back, 
And when I go back, guess what I see? I have no idea. The door was ajar once again. Yeah, okay. And so I don't know if it's the dryer or if somebody's like maliciously seeking out to keep my clothes wet. I don't know what it could be, but I just put them in for a third time and I have about another 30 minutes before I've got to go get them. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see where that's going to end okay. up. Okay. But that's, that's, my, that's my experience just for tonight. Well, so here's the deal. Laundry's a big deal here at North Greenville University. As in big deal, as in please go to class with clean clothes. Please do anything with clean Amen. clothes. Amen. Yeah. Wesley knows. Wesley. We've both been there. People have dirty clothes and it's like, you have a washer. I can't street. smell it because my sense of smell is whack, but I can, I can see it. Even actually, though my sense of sight is whack. He actually asked me to smell it. <laughs> Drew's is clean. I, <laughs> I have to take the smell my stuff all I the time. But, but if I you're watching this and you are an underclassman and you have more questions about laundry, feel free to... Leave a comment below. Tweet us at the Drew underscore Norris and at Wesley A. Kennedy. Just my, straight up my name. Just Wesley Kennedy. You sure it's not Wes underscore Wes 101? I'll put it on the thing. Yeah, no, that's my, that's my uh, Snapchat, Wes underscore Wes 101. 101. Anywho, if you have any questions about laundry or maybe even anything about school, let us know. And, uh, and hopefully we'll talk about it. Hopefully. See you next time. After nine. The joy of living with sweet mates. Can you hear them?